Hi, I'm the Nappy Lady and today I'm going to demonstrate for you the Bambooty Basic Nappy. Now this is a nappy that I think gets overlooked a lot, it's not always talked about, but it's really economical. So if you're on a tight budget and want an all-in nappy that's beautifully and ethically made, then Bambooty Basic is the one you want. So it fits birth to potty and this is by a series of poppers on the front of the nappy. So you get one, two, three and the full length setting, so it's very adjustable. And all you need to do is take the top male popper and position it onto one of the poppers that you want to alter it to. So I'm going to take it down into the smallest setting for you. And I only ever alter the poppers when baby's gone upper size. I don't do it every time I wash it. There we go. So I've taken it down into the smallest setting. So you've just kind of got it. It's taken some length out of it, which is just there. If I open those up, and we're back out to the full length setting, uh, put it on to one of the medium lengths for you as well. Now, the other thing about the uh, Bambooty Basic is it has three length adjusting poppers, and this is really important because that helps to secure. There we go. We've got in the there. Okay, so we've got the two. Uh, that's the shortest length, a medium length, and then I've secured it, but it's not the full length yet, so you've still got this little fold here. Uh, and I was talking about the, the medium middle popper there. So you've got poppers, three of them, one, two, three, to keep alter of the length. The middle one stops you get an inch droop from the nappy, it keeps it nice and secure. Now I'll have a look at the waist of this nappy. Now the waist has one line of poppers, that's the long line there, that's your waist poppers. Now on the tabs, each side, you have uh, two poppers. And it's really important, being that it's um, only got one line of poppers, that you um, use both of them because this helps to uh, reduce the chance of wing droop. So when you put it on, you've got your two here. Do this one first, I always call it your waist popper. And then we do kind of what I call it the tab popper. So the waist popper again, the other side, the waist popper first. This one here and then the next one over the top and that helps it to be secure. You've also got on your left hand tab some crossover ones. So if you've got a really small baby you can secure this tab first and then take the other one over the top. So rather than securing it to the body of the nappy you're taking it over the top and securing it there and that makes a smaller waist. And this nappy is designed to fit from um, sort of seven pounds to 35 pounds. However, note that it's a very slim nappy. It's a very slim nappy and the length is quite short as well. So if uh, it's kind of best for your shorter, your smaller, your more petite babies than your big chunky monkeys. Chunky monkeys might not get to potty training with this nappy. Uh, strong elastic in the waist there, and you've got a lovely elastic at the legs as well. Now we have a look inside. Now it's a really basic nappy. It's called the Bambooty Basic because it's basic. Inside, it comes with an insert, and each nappy comes with an insert, and they're sold with the bamboo inserts. If you prefer quicker drying microfiber, you can buy those individually. And they just secure in with two poppers. Okay, snap, snap, and it's in, good to go. And the insert is really long, look how long that is. And that's so that you can fold it. So often I just fold it straight in half. There we go. But if you've got a heavier wetter, you know, a little boy that, you know, is concentrating his wee right at the front, you can fold it. So you've got that underneath it, giving you more absorbency at the front. The same with a girl, you can angle it so that you've got more absorbency. Fold in that wedge there. So you've got more absorbency at the back of the nappy. You can position it wherever you want it to be. Now, a lot of people use this like an all-in-one nappy. So when you come to nappy change, you'll take this whole nappy off, put it in your uh, nappy bucket, and then you'd put a whole clean nappy back on. So it's just like an all-in-one, just like a disposable. Take this whole nappy off, replace with a clean one. However, it is designed to be an all-in-two to make it more cost-effective for you. So being an all-in-two, you would take the soiled insert out, and then you would get clean insert and snap a clean insert in and reuse it. The maximum recommended uh, time to change in is twice. So we wouldn't recommend you go any further than sort of two changes, which means you take one sold insert out, you put a clean insert in, at the next nappy change, 
you change the whole thing. You only reuse it twice. If you uh, reuse it more than twice, you're, you are more at uh, risk of getting any leaks or wicking as the outside um, is a lovely, beautiful minky fabric, but it could gradually pick up the moisture from the nappy inside. So two changes is best for this one if you want to use it as an all-in-two. So the inserts are available in either bamboo, which is the more popular fabric, so it's more absorbent. However, that is slower drying. So if you prefer, there is a microfiber as well, which is the less absorbent, but quicker drying option for you. Very economical nappy. Uh, so it fits best for very small, uh, sort of slimmer children, but a very beautiful fit.